you can do that it makes your life easier then you can connect the the quick connect hose to it and under you probably noticed that they are the back wheels are big and they have like spikes on them and the spikes is used to grab the soil so it doesn't uh, spin without making any movement but from my previous experience what happened to the other two that I bought was that uh, they weren't that good and the reason being is, is that they would just uh, rotate slip and then they would create a like a hole wherever they were standing and it would be like uh, stuck in the mud kind of look to them or feel and one of them actually the wheel after rotating so many times so um, it even broke so and let's look at the back underneath side of it so here I painted the underneath it when I got it originally it was not painted so it was rusting it out so I painted with yellow color and what you see here this right here is a stopper this is what stops the tractor from moving forward and and here is the stopper itself so when it's done sprinkling water uh, it would come here and then this stopper would tri be triggered and this would be pressed inward and then it would stop the water from sprinkling and I think this tractor has been outside not completely but it's been outside multiple times over the years so you can see the it is rusted a little bit but that's no big deal uh, and the color of the tractor is yellow but uh, it's been faded because of the sun but otherwise uh, it works good so I will demonstrate uh, how it uh, is used. So one more thing is that these uh, these sprinkler rods, you you want to make sure that they are tight, but don't tight them so much that they would break. Also, in case if we didn't tight them enough, they might just fly off because of the water pressure so be aware of that and I would not suggest you use a wrench or something like that for a reasonable average person they could just use their hand to twist them and and uh, tighten it that way because if you use a plier you, you, you might break it so so let's uh, let's Let's connect. Quick connect. Okay. So it's not connecting quick connect that quickly, but I need to use both my hands. One hand is not enough. But for this purpose, let's pretend that it's hose is connected. Then what you would do is you would grab your tractor and put it put it right on the hose line and right here so the front wheel is actually where the hose will come through and the pressure of the water will move the tractor assuming you have it on low or high speed as I mentioned earlier and as it comes down here then it would stop right here okay i'll have another video where it shows how it actually moves thank you